morning we are vlogging today there is actually so much changing in our lives and work situation and living situation and there is about to change a lot still in a good way but also in a bit of a scary adventurous way i will go more into detail about it a little later because it is quite exciting it's just a little bit scary and we're a bit nervous in a good way but that's for later as of right now we actually have so many things to do so many things to plan and get in order but we also feel like we have nothing to do at the same time and we also feel like we're a little stuck and we don't really know where to start and i picked up the camera because i really want to document it and maybe talk a little bit more to the camera on how i feel and how things are going but i do not really want to open up about the details yet anyways the home is a mess we are cleaning up a lot we are decluttering a lot of things we are getting rid of things we are giving away things we are selling furniture we are also picking up our stuff a little bit i will just take you around in the home and show you what the situation is at the moment i have these two packages that just came in i have a lace dress and a little bag from jill sander i just tried it on with this vintage blazer from armani and i think it is the most beautiful dress in the world i love how the sleeves come out a little bit too and if it's too so hot you can take off the blazer or the bolero and just wear it on itself but i just think this is so beautiful or if you'd want more of an evening gown look to just wear it on its own without the stripes some beautiful heels maybe a nice necklace or some beautiful earrings this is the bag i think it is so beautiful and minimal i love the silver details but i'm not so sure if i like it enough to keep it i just got rid of a lot of coats and jackets everywhere where you see a hanger was a coat originally so i got rid of a lot of stuff i'm now reviewing all of my underwear pajamas and so on and i want to fit these tights into this little organizer okay, that was quite easy i also have some random accessories and costume jewelry pieces in this thing and i I just feel like it's getting too much. I don't even really use them. I, for example, have some special shell necklaces and the summer is almost over. So I feel like I just need to go through them quickly. For now, I got rid of these. This is, by the way, my new Arc Stockholm water tumbler. Just reorganized this little pouch that i always have with me when i switch bags so i just have this in my bags and then i don't always have to take out all of the little things and forget things inside so this usually just has all of my little makeup touch-up things so we literally have piles everywhere we have piles here and here we have things there that we're selling or donating or we have a pile over there, we have some more stuff literally everywhere. We have piles in every room and every pile has its purpose. Right now I'm just going through everything and it is a little bit of a mess but I just hope that I can get things in order as soon as possible. I cannot believe how my closet is just getting smaller and smaller. This whole thing is empty. I just have some outfits here that I was planning for a trip but they easily fit in here even my jackets that i still have in the hallway will perfectly fit in here so yeah this is basically empty i do have a box up here which is over here for now because i'm reviewing it everything that is in here would easily fit in here which means that i would still have this space left in one of my previous videos i showed myself working on my mood board vision board prayer board for the upcoming few months and this is the result um, there is not really outfits on there like really fashion inspiration but just things that i'm thinking of things that are motivating me things that i'm praying for that i want to focus on so it's not really a style inspiration board it's more of a lifestyle motivation what i'm currently focusing on and working on also got a new winter coat it's not really a coat it is a little bit lighter than a coat 
but also very excited to show you it is from totem i'm gonna take you to the bathroom because i also decluttered all of my beauty stuff and all of my skincare these are actually the products that i use every day twice a day so those are the products from biologic recherche but sometimes i feel like this cream is a little too heavy a little too moisturizing for certain days so i have this one as well just because it's a little lighter but this one is actually perfectly fine for me i could also get rid of this one but it's just for comfort that i keep it i could go without it but i just like having it i also have this serum that i just use whenever i feel like i need it it's actually kind of from the same line so i don't think i'm gonna repurchase it once i finished it i have this mask that i use once or twice a week once this one is finished i will get one that my specialist recommended from this brand this is just my daily deodorant and then this is my micellar water that i put in this glass bottle because i just really did not enjoy looking at the pink plastic bottle over here i have my hair comb my nail brush i have a tongue scraper i have a nail file and then these two little hair clips for when i'm doing a mask or doing my makeup i have my body brush that i use a lot i have my only two hair products and then in here i'll show you i have three hair clips i have this big one that holds all of my hair and then i have this one that is like for a half updo and then this one that holds less they all have a different purpose to me and i like hair clips a lot i also have this massage tool for lymphatic drainage which i use about once a week i use this a lot anymore but i do like to have it for when i do want it or need it i'm getting rid of my five minute journal i'm also getting rid of these two extra brushes that came with a set of brushes from real techniques i just decluttered all of these from this storage box as well i usually do not keep reading books especially not after i read them but this one i did because it's a very very simple book it is in french i recommend this book to everyone who likes cats and also it helps me to maintain my french a little bit even though it is very very simple i've been keeping this travel case from Nueve Fragrances. We actually finished the fragrance and got rid of that one and I was keeping the travel case but I'm a little less interested in their fragrances right now. I might in the future go get one again but for now I'm not using it and I do not see a reason why I should keep it. Just did everything inside my desk as well. I have this big envelope with some notes and letters from my husband. This is my bullet journal that I just use for everything. This one is an extra empty one. And then this one is like some um, puzzle games. I do like to do that sometimes to be off the screen but just do something entertaining that is not on the screen when I'm alone. So I do have that one and I have one more book a faith-based book that i'm reading which is this one i only have this little pouch left with two nail polishes one dark one and one sheer one i have my setting powder my bronzer and then just some extra tools for grooming your nails that's all that i keep in here and then in this box i just keep all of my dust bags to travel a little bit of a fun story in my culture you always take your shoes off when you enter someone's house and you are always or usually you always get offered slippers like guest slippers and in tommy's culture you just take off your shoes and walk around barefoot or on your socks and my family does not visit us a lot because our house is a bit further away we do visit them a lot um, i mean we see each other a lot but it's us visiting them usually or them inviting us over because we live in a space where it is less reachable i guess but so we do not have many guests from my culture and when we got our first apartment together the first thing that i did was buy a lot of guest slippers because it's just a thing in my culture 
And I think since we're married, which is two and a half years now, I think we handed out guest slippers like twice. So yeah, we were keeping like 12 pairs of guest slippers and I don't know why I only realized now that we don't need them, but I'm getting rid of them now. So 12 pairs of guest slippers. I have a few in the hallway as well. And then these shoes my husband's gonna sell as well because he's not using them. This is all the stuff that I just got rid of. This is a round of stuff also from both our closets that we decluttered yesterday. And that is just a few kitchen things. We have some plates as well. Some more books and random little things that we're also selling. This is my newest bag. This is the Mezo Alaya Latakel bag. It is the small size in goatskin and black, obviously. Comes with this little tag. Some people take it off, but I just... I think it's cute. I keep it there. The little zippers have an A from Alaya, obviously. It has this little attachment to keep the handles together. The inside is suede lined and it also comes with a little mirror. The mirror looks like this and it fits perfectly in this little pocket on the inside. This is the totem coat that I talked about. I got it off of Farfetch, but it is a totem, obviously. It's actually by name a summer coat. But it is very well lined on the inside and it is not too heavy. It's quite light, but it's still very covering. Which I like because sometimes in winter or in fall when you wear a thick sweater and a very structured coat, then it's, it's sometimes a bit impractical to move or to bend down or whatever. And I love that this coat is a little lighter. I know that it's practically the spring-summer collection, but I know I'm gonna wear it a lot. We are quite a bit later, but my room is finally clean and reorganized. It is 9 in the evening and usually we are in bed by 9 to 9.30, but we are literally at a fastnet charging station because Tommy really wanted to test drive this car that I don't like, but now we are charging it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and for tuning in with me today and then I'll see you in the next one tomorrow.